Hey gang, welcome back to Learning to Survive. Big John, Terry, and Cletus here with you as usual. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Trailblazer Folding Knife. We got this in the last uh, Shit Hit the Fan Mystery Gear box. And uh, I told you guys I'd do a little review on it. And I am. And I got a surprise for you. I went out into the wilderness and tested the saw. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I actually got outside of my apartment, out into the wilderness. It's amazing. You'll get to see it, but you know the drill. If you want to see it, you're going to have to stick around. Tell them, boys. Hey gang, thanks for sticking around. Like I said, today we're taking a look at the Trailblazer folding saw that we got in the last Shit Fan Mystery Gear box. And like I said, I did take it out into the wild and uh, test it out. Um, as I promised you guys I would try to do, and I did. Um, you're going to get to see how it performed, how well it did. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, if I can even open this freaking thing. There you go. Pretty gnarly, man. Excuse all the fingerprints on there. Mm. Alright. So that's what she looks like. Excuse me, Felder. So I pulled it up on the CH Cadell's website. I'll give you some specs. Says one of the... Whoa. I don't know what I just did, but it freaked me out. One of the handiest folding saws around. This is a must-have for your bug-out bag, camping gear, and lawn equipment. It has a 5-inch stainless steel blade, razor-sharp, shark-tooth-style serrations that will make quick work of any light sawing job. A built-in safety release button ensures safety, and the durable TPU handle features a TPR grip for safe, slip-free hold. If anybody can tell me what TPU and TPR mean, I'd greatly appreciate it. The multi-purpose saw is 10 and a half inches in overall length and folds to a compact six and one quarter inches closed length, making it easy to transport. Product description, which is probably going to be the same thing that we just read. Um, it's exactly the same thing we just read. So, <laughs> we're not going to go through that again. <laughs> Um, like I said, I, uh, I took it out, tried it out, saw how it performed. You want to see how it did? Here you go. Hey gang, Big John here with you. I'm out here in the wilderness of my daughter's house. My son-in-law Ace is manning the camera. Say hi to everybody, Ace. Hey. <laughs> this is the folding saw that we got in the last Shit at the Fan Mystery Gear box that I promised you all I was going to test. And now we're gonna test it and see how it does. Not bad. Put a little bit of work into it. Well, not too bad. Better than I thought it was going to do. Definitely not the best I've ever seen, but uh, it would take some work. But it works. does the job. So, 
for a cheap little thing, not too bad. So there you have it, gang. Uh, you know, the saw did okay. It did better than I thought it was going to do. I mean, it's not great. It's a $10 saw, $9.99, whatever. Uh, you know, you're not expecting great things out of it, but um, I wish I had shown the cut a little more. It was extremely smooth. Even uh, Ace commented on how smooth the cut was. Uh, it, so, you know, it's definitely something that you could use as a backup. I mean, you know, it's not going to be a, you know, whatever those high dollar ones are called. I can't think of the name of them right now, but, uh, you know, it's not going to be one of those. But, I mean, for 10 bucks, I was pretty impressed. I really did not think it would do that well. I almost thought the thing would break. Um, I'm sure you guys can hear uh, my wind chimes in the background that my beautiful daughter gave to me. Uh, it's quite windy here in Austin today, um, so you're just gonna have to excuse that. Just, just listen to the, listen to it as you're going to sleep tonight. Let me tell you what, I hope it stays like that while I'm going to sleep because I'm going to drift off. Um, anyway, I got a little off track. So it did okay. It didn't do, you know, it wasn't fantastic. I mean, it didn't cut through it like butter, but you know, it, it and, and I mean, I mean, the, the cut was smooth, man. I mean, smooth as it could be. So I'm kind of impressed for 10 bucks. Not a bad job at all. Not at all. So guys, comment below. Tell me what you think. What do you think about the folding saw? How do you think it did? Is it worth 10 bucks? You know, a silky saw. That's what those things are called, silky saws. Um, you know, for $10, man, I don't think you can beat it with a stick. Does it take a little more effort? Yeah. Does it take a little more time? Yeah. But if you're, you know, on a budget and you're trying to build your bug out bag or your bushcraft bag, um, like every bushcrafter I've ever seen carries some kind of folding saw of some sort. So, uh, you know, this that might be a way to start out and then you can always upgrade later. Um, so comment below, tell me what you think, let me know. Hey guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you know when I post new videos. Also guys, go check out my Patreon page Remember, every dollar donated goes to the channel to make the channel bigger, better, and better. As always, I love my troops. Thank you for your service. And when I say troops, guys, I want you to know I mean past and present. Okay, I don't mean the people who are just serving right now. I mean anybody who served. I, I, I love you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really do. To my subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate all that you do for me. I appreciate your comments and the back and forth that we get to talk uh, in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, what are you waiting for? Oh, there's gonna be a little icon thing that's gonna pop up of me right up in here. And uh, you just click on that, you subscribe, and boom. You're a member of the fam. <laughs> or should I say a member of the gang? I think I like that a little better. I think I like us being a gang. Sounds a little more badass. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. As always, you and me together, we're learning to survive. And until next time, we'll see you.